Hey, welcome back to another video. Now, I know it's been a while since I made my last video. It took a bit of a break, and I'm probably going to take another one soon. But it's been a while since I've made my last tutorial, so I thought, you know, today would be a good day to make another one. Now, this is going to be a, an extremely brief tutorial on something that I think everybody, every builder should know. And that is World Edit. Now, World Edit is possibly probably one of the most important tools that a builder could ever have. It just reduces the amount of build time by a tremendous amount and enables many builders to build, you know, larger scale builds than ever than, you know, compared to hand building. Though hand building does have its benefits, but if you're someone who has no idea what World Edit is or how to use it, then, you know, you come to the right place. This is going to be a very, very basic overview and introduction to WorldEdit and some of the most important and easiest commands you could use with WorldEdit. So let's begin. All right. So quickly, if you want to get WorldEdit for whether for your server or single player, because WorldEdit is a plugin, and I believe you need a server to run plugins. Uh, I do not know how to install it, but I will leave a couple of links that'll help you in the description. Now, for a single player. You will need, you know, mod loaders such as Forge or Light Loader to run it, and I do not know how updated they are. Last time I remember it was like 1.10 version, but that's basically it for that. We're just going to get right into it. Alright, so the only tool that we'll be using, because there are a few other tools you could use for World Edit, is the axe. First thing you'll need to know about World Edit is you're going to need an axe for such basic commands. Uh, other in tools include, you know, you could use numerous shovels for brushes as well as hose and stuff like that but we're gonna use an axe today now I have this structure really nice structure from a castle I believe that I made a while back and we're gonna be using some commands on here so the first command that we're gonna start off is the set command now the set command is very very useful in a variety of uses not just to fill in floors like this but to you know get rid of a lot of other unwanted parts of builds, you know, to clear large scale areas. Say you have some land that you want to just flatten, you use this, you know, the slash zero, set zero command. But in order to actually know how to use this command, you need to know positioning. Now positioning is actually the basis of a lot of commands that we're going to use, or probably 100% commands that we're going to use today. And that is basically why we have this axe here. Now this is probably the number one hard thing that actually I had trouble grasping upon when I first got into World Edit, but it's actually really easy. So the positioning and you know learning positioning is basically just framing out the dimensions of what you want to set. So we're just going to practice here how to set something. So basically what you need to do is you need to get the outer boundaries of what you need to set. Now setting things are always going to be in some cuboid dimension, so everything's going to be all square-like. So we're going to frame out, say... We're going to try to surround these cows right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set one position here and one position here. Now, what's going to happen is when you set a position, to set the first position, you left-click one position and you right-click the other one. And what's going to happen is this entire framed area is going to be set to stone, just like this. So you're going to do the slash slash set command, slash slash set stone. And then that cow just got, you know, filled with stone. Now, if you mess up or something like that, and you say you forget to, you know, left click or right click, which does happen quite often, you just do slash slash undo, and there you go. So that's how, that's what positioning is. You could also go even higher, and you could go slash slash set one or stone, and you could completely surround that cow, and that is basically how it works. And you could also do slash slash set zero as well, like that. Now keep in mind that. Your axe is always going to set one position, and if you fly away, that position is always going to be set. So if you do something like this, and you, you forget, this is going to happen. Where you set this entire area to stone, so you want you don't want to do that. Now, back to the gazebo. It's going to be pretty easy now that you know how to use this command. You just slash position 1, position 2, and then you slash set stone. And there you go. You got a whole floor here, and that was only done in very very little time now one thing is you could also use your positions this way where you do slash slash pose one and slash slash pose two and you can still have that same sort of dimension here though that is mainly used for different commands you might want to just use your axe when you set things but moving on to the next command alright so our second command is actually just as useful as the next one 
in that it does remove a hundred percent of the tedious work or mistakes that you make in your build mainly used for mistakes or something that you want to just make more desirable in your build but that is the slash slash replace command now as you can see we got all the sponge here you don't want this because you will look at sponge it was just cobblestone before and you know what I could do is I could just take my cobblestone and just replace all of it by hand but you could just take the whole thing and replace it with cobblestone in one command and that is basically what the replace command is so we're going to use our positions again except I'm going to use my command for it so slash slash pose one going to go to the other corner slash slash pose two now this entire area whatever cobblestone is in this area is going to be replaced so slash slash replace sponge with cobblestone and here you go now everything is cobblestone like you see and we got our regular gazebo now this could be used for a numerous you know different sort of scenarios say we got water so you know we got slash slash pose one two set place zero water you got this bunch of this water what you can just do is you can actually replace water with zero and that could be really helpful if you're working in an ocean or something but other than that that's just basically the replace command right there we're just gonna move on to the next command alright so for the next two commands and the last two commands of this tutorial is that it's gonna require one command I've not acknowledged yet but is extremely important and you're going to need to use it although it is extremely easy as well and that is a slash slash copy and paste command so to use it you know you just find your two positions now this is actually used you know it's exactly what it sounds like you know you copy a build you paste it and you know you just got more copies of that build so I got the two I got the entire region with the two positions now you want to copy it from where you want to you know paste it next so I want to paste it you know from this position so I'm just gonna do slash slash copy and I'm going to paste it over here now when I paste it it's gonna be exactly the copy of that exact same position where I copied it from so slash slash paste like that and you got another copy of the gazebo right there now one small problem that a lot of builders a lot of people a new builders run into when you use this command is when you build, want to build something really close to each other like you know that town over there you want to use the slash the command slash slash paste negative a or else this will happen where you know basically what you're telling the plugin to do because when you copy the entire region that entire keyboard region you also copy the error because error is a block too so the error is also being displaced by the command you just pasted so you just want to do slash slash undo paste negative a and you got something really really close but you got the whole build together so that is basically uh, the copy and paste command moving on to our last and final commands now the next and final two commands are going to be very similar to each other though they're going to serve different functions and are going to be slightly you know different but they both are copy and paste commands now i actually just set this entire half of this build to zero to you know show you guys this next command and that is the flip command now say you have a 100 percent symmetrical build and you just finished building one half but you don't want to build the other half because it's just going to double the amount of time that it's going to take to build something just as small as this. So what you need to do is use the flip command. Now you're going to use your position skills and set your region. Now in a build like this where there's actually a middle point, you're going to want to get the other side in. So just this half right here, not including the middle point. Just going to move that cow out of the way right there. Pose one. And then the next position, you just got to get the rest of the build in. Now you want to get that middle point in, and you want to stand at it right here, right in between both sides. Now what you want to do, if you want to flip it to the left, you got to say you got to flip it to the left in the command. So first, you got to copy it, and then this is where you got to put the flip command in. So slash slash flip. Now you want to flip it to the left. So you got to flip. Well, actually, you want to flip it to the right. You want to flip it from the left to the right. So yeah, my bad. Flip right. And you're going to want to paste, and I usually like to do it negative A so there's nothing wrong with the build. And here you got your identical side. Now, another way to do this is you could also slash slash copy. Well, and then you could actually flip it, but look at the direction you want to flip it. And then you can just do slash slash paste. And you got your build right here. So that is a pretty easy command, but you just got to learn, you know, some of the whole orientation and stuff like that. But yeah, 
Moving on to our last and final command. Alright, so the last and final command you're, you're going to need to know for your world edit basics is a pretty tricky command, but you'll probably come across it once or twice. And that is the rotate command. Now here we have the quarter of my build right here. And say you want to rotate it all around. What you need to do is, first of all, you got to include these these uh, middle parts right here that I told you not to include for the last command. But what we're going to do is we're going to do slash slash pose 1. Got the entire bottom region. And take your axe pose 2 just for accuracy. Because if you go even any farther, then you're going to you know mess up the build. Because this right here is the extreme center of the entire build. This is what you're rotating around the entire build. So what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to sit in the center. So sit right here. Now what you're going to want to do is slash slash copy. Now don't move anywhere or else you know your rotate is going to get really screwed up. So you're going to copy it. Now it's in your clipboard. You're going to want to rotate. Now you're going to want to rotate it to 90. All right, and 90 only, because that's we have a quarter here. You want to get it into the other quarter on the other side. So, slash slash paste negative a. And here we got another half. Just keep doing another command again, and then paste negative a, another half, and then rotate another 90, paste negative a. And here you got the entire build, right here with the rotating. Now you could have just said that you know I could just use the flip command twice. You know, you can use that, and that's why I said this command is very similar. Now, another thing you could do is you could actually do a slash slash copy. Get that, just clear your entire rotate board right there. Rotate 180, negative A. And then you got, like, sort of something like that. I don't know when that will come in handy, but, you know, looks pretty cool. Now, you could also do some really weird rotations, such as rotate... I don't know, 45, but you're going to get some distorted something like this, and it, I don't even think it shows up, that's kind of weird, hold on, actually that's because I actually made a mistake right there, it's going to look something like this, and you know, unless you're doing something really advanced, and I'm actually working on a project like that right now where I really had to use this command, you probably shouldn't do this because it's probably going to really distort your build. Though it does, you know, work once in a while, just not on a build like, you know, with a bunch of slabs and stuff like that. But that is our last command you need to know. Alright guys, I hope this was brief enough for you guys to stick around, and I hope it was really helpful for anyone who did not know how to use World Edit. I use this command, and I use all these commands on a regular basis, every single build that I've made on a large scale, and I hope it helps you guys too. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to stick around and subscribe. Also check out my new website I made. But other than that, see you guys later.